Ow! <laughs> Fucking beer! No! No! no. <laughs> I just got trapped by the whip. <laughs> guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to a, another video. And today's video, man is going to show his age a little bit by uh, playing a simulator that I played right at the start of my sim racing, I don't know, career? Do you call it a career? Sim racing degeneracy? Right at the start of my sim racing mental illness. And it's a sim that I've not played, I think, at all for maybe three or four years at this point, but it's still now receiving updates. Actually, its last update was in May. And that simulator is Live for Speed. Anyone who has done sim racing at any point in their life would probably have heard of a simulator, especially if you're of a, uh, of a certain age. <laughs> Looking at you, Dave Cam, you're like 80. Ah, uh, that's a bit mean. 70. And it's a simulator that set off a lot of people sort of further into the hobby. I mean, for me, for example, I got the sim, I played it a bit, thought, ah, oh, this is okay, I guess, and then downloaded R Factor and never looked back. But to this day, people still use it, people still run races with it online, and I want to try it for myself. Now that I have all this ridiculous gear, I think the last time I drove uh, Live for Speed was on a Thrustmaster T500, I wanted to see if it still held up by today's standards. Now, this game has been around for a super long time. In fact, when I played it, it had already been out for nearly 10 years. This game was first launched in 2003, which means that it's now 18 years old. It's old enough to vote. <laughs> sim racing president, baby. That would be the worst thing in the world. How bad would that be, a sim racing president? Fuck. <laughs> oh. so, so don't expect no Gran Turismo Sport-esque graphics. Don't expect the best physics. But given that people are still using it, there's got to be a reason. I'm hoping today I can find that out. Just before I get into the, the hell that I'm sure will be <laughs> trying to set up this game on modern machinery, if you do enjoy uh, the uh, video at all, feel free to tap that like button. You can subscribe as well if you like. I'm um, still going to try and aim for 800k subscribers. Not quite sure it's going to be an end of the year sort of thing, but I think that's the next goal. So 800k then means we're 200k from a million, which means that I'm then only like 100 something million away from beating PewDiePie. So we're close, guys. We're getting close. <laughs> Quick maths. There it is. And here we are. Live for speed. I guess now make my guy. There you go. Just like real life. Ah! This is the demo version. Uh, of the game. So I'm playing a version that you can all try at home for free. Do you remember when people released demos? It's sort of starting to come back now, but it uh, was a big thing, of course, back in 2003 when this game came out. <laughs> and we are presented with our box, the XF GTI, which front wheel drive, I guess, some sort of Civic slash Fiat Punto slash Golf vibes from this? ish and what i always loved about this menu is that you can see how having a driver in the car and having fuel in the car actually affects how the car looks and how it weighs how it sits so i'm gonna put it in the rallycross setup because it makes it a bit more obvious because it's a bit softer and if we put the driver in you can see the car sort of moves over to one side a little bit take the driver out put the fuel in you see it very very slightly just sits down at the back there, which I think is amazing. I, I love that. It's such a cool little detail that I'm sure other Sims have that in it, but to see it visually like that straight away is is pretty damn impressive. You can, of course, just go for the ultimate weight reduction mod and just uh, roll around Flintstone style, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try it with the car today uh, just because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so here we go. This is a bit that I've be nervous about this is my first time genuinely in this menu i've not seen this menu yet and i do not know if i'm going to be able to map all my controls so i thought i would do it live on video and bring you guys along for the pain and misery that i assume this is going to be I, I i maybe i'll be pleasantly surprised i don't know so first of all it's got my wheel it knows that i've got a wheel here which is nice um let's see B -b 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 that is insane that that's just detected my wheel this game from 2003 has detected the wheel and made things work that's that's intense the force feedback in there as well i've got dead zones removed on the force feedback i don't know how it's going to work out it's not set particularly high 
in my Simic cube just in case. But I think I have all my buttons and whatever mapped. And that took no time at all compared to what you... That's about the same as setting something up in iRacing. That is super impressive. Um, I'm going to see if we can do a race against some AI. I guess we'll do like a five lap race or something. Five laps against the guys at Blackwood. Blackwood, by the way, is a circuit that is is amazing i've always loved blackwoods a special place in my heart so i'm glad we can drive it again and here we are then let's see um actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna qualify as well fuck it i've encountered my first problem my steering wheel works but man's looking left i don't know why so eating into my qualifying time right how do i start go car on oh, i've got to start it oh i'm running out of time to qualify oh god uh huh controls Start car, start car, ignition. Uh, b -b 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 yeah, b -b -b on. Yes. Okay, we're good. Go, 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 go. Uh, these axes are doing something. What's the Y axis? It's doing something. I don't know what. Okay, so I've got it all working. We're going to exit the pit lane now. I've noticed I've got my hands off my wheel because I did a little test before this and I got absolutely clouded by a car coming out of the pit lane and got smashed by the wheel. But here we are, out. It'll live for speed at Blackwood, at the pit lane, and we can unleash our little yellow cutie onto the circuit. Now, I've got the trin out lap and a lap for qualifying, and then we've got the race, which is five laps. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do, um, but we'll go from there already. Just smashing those front tyres. Sorry, mate. Getting warm one way or another. AI in front of us is a good little marker as to how we're going to do. They're all set to the pro setting, I think it's called. So they're all going to be pretty quick. Um, so hopefully I can compete at some level anyway. Big long back straight here at Blackwood, which means I can just essentially just sit in the toe for a bit and vibe as we come down to the heavy braking zone at the end of the end of the straight. We're literally just halfway down the straight now. Tuck in, car in style. Get a little bit of a toe from the car in front. Let's see what the brakes are like. Oh, ABS. Bounce into the corner there. <laughs> I've forgotten how much I enjoy driving live for speed, especially in these little front wheel drive cuties. Come on, you. It's a little nudge there. Okay, I'm pushing up the hill. Come on. This reminds me already of when I drove the um, little uh, one series BMW to get my uh, signatures for my racing license. That sort of level of, it's all in the corner exit. It's all about momentum. Oh, I'm getting, getting pictures of you qualifying, mate. You know what? Get out of it. Go on. Oh, he's strong. Oh, he's gone for 4.30, though. Third gear for life, mate. Easy pass. Right, now it's time for our qualifying lap. Let's try not to crunch the guy next to us. He's there somewhere. There he is. I can see him in the mirror. He's buzzing around. I'm obviously going to break later because my testicles are bigger and I've missed the corner. That's how that works, right? Oh, he's, oh, he's returning the favour. Cheers, mate. Thank you, buddy. See that these guys working together. Check him over the curves. Nice. Good exit there. Now we've got to draft all the way down the straight, mate. It's going to be good at this. Come on. I fancy a pole. Oh, God. Oh, God. Too far in. Too far in. <laughs> a bit too enthusiastic there, I think, on the way in. Oh, bloody hell. And again, Jimmy, come down, mate. Oh, but the, the corner and speed. Cock it up there. Out of the way. I want a fast lap. No, don't do it. I'm going to be stuck on the outside here. Dude, come on. Just a little nudge on the way through. Just a little wee nudge. Come on. I'm pushing this fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just reminds me of Master Racing, man. You know what? Let's master him. Oh, I missed him. Oh, man. So I got a bit enthusiastic there, but zero prospects qualifies in pole position. But what was this I'm hearing? The stewards. It's the stewards, the totally real stewards are in my ear. Telling me that I'm a massive dickhead, which we all know anyway. And I've been demoted to the back of the grid for some reason. So, lights are on. Oh, wait, no! I thought I was the... God damn! <laughs> Didn't happen. Okay, so, let's not... Apparently my clutch don't work, so let's just not put it in gear, all right? Gears are for losers. Oh, man. <laughs> uh... There you go. Who needs front tyres, mate? Just big set of 11s off the line. 
And we're waiting for a race and live the speed, mate. Oh, already! Oh, it's getting rowdy! It's getting rowdy! <laughs> the angry boys are out! As we go into T1 for the first time, got AI4 in front of us. Give me a little nudge, go on, give me a little nudge. Oh, I've got no front end. Got no bonnet. Try and get through without hitting them too much. I say that. Okay, there you go. We're well, through in one piece. Unfortunately, AI2 behind us is uh, is gone. The ripping dead. You can just about see him in the mirror if you zoom in. Just there he goes over the hill. Goodbye, mate. Forgotten about. Do we send it? Here we go. Send it. Oh god. Oh, he, oh, he did the brake check. Did you see that? The Dukes. That is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Go on, get round. Get round. Get round. Oh god. <laughs> These guys are good, man. What I want to do is punt. Okay, let's be serious and focus on the race for a second. Let's talk about the game and how it drives after all these years. It's, it feels good, man. It still feels decent. It's lacking the detail is what I'll say. A lot of the um, sort of modern titles now have a bit more detail in the world. But I can feel when I've hit the ABS. I can feel when the car is sliding at the front. That's enough. And the force feedback is to the point where it isn't... Uh, isn't wrong, it isn't slowing you down, it just adds to the, the, the fun of driving the car, which I think is amazing for a game that's this old. Of course, it's been worked on a lot and it's still going, but the building blocks of this game are still from that era. In fact, you can see on the dash there, my my, uh, my heaters are just JPEGs. Love a good JPEG. Let's try the outside line here. My boy, the blue boy. There you go. Easy. Oh, God. Where's the power? Where's the power band? There it is, right at the top run off there oh just squeeze between the sausage and the red lad there get sausaged and of course i need to remind you guys i'm just playing a demo right now it's not even the full game you can go do this at home if you fancy uh downloading live for speed and having another go at it then it's there for free this isn't an ad video or anything i'm not being paid to say this but i just think it's amazing this game's still around and still available for people to play it's got so many people into sim racing including in small part myself Great to see it still going and still being enjoyable to play the day. Up the inside of the, uh, the black car onto the curb. Look at that revs. It was revs up. Lots of power right at the top here. I'm getting squeezed for the blue Porsche all over again. Brick car flashbacks. Now I'm on the outside here. I know he's going to come across. Oh, he does. Oh, banging the doors handles, mate. We're going to cut back across. Thank you very much, mate. Up on the curbs. Up into P7. Oh, just ran into the back of him. Come on. Still at the speed. AI sort of uh, wimps out there on the on the. So you see, look, he's just fallen back. He's gone. Okay, no worries. Oh, up into fifth gear. Love a bit of that, mate. Love a bit of that. See that now? I can just do this on a straight vibe. Easy. Check your phone. Don't do that while racing. It's very bad. And I'm just really scratching the surface of what this game is. You know, there's a lot you can do in this game, including quite detailed setup as well. And you can see how different weights and different parts of the car affect the setup. I showed you that earlier on. You can uh, customizable exhaust noise as well, which is, uh, I think Need for Speed did that with their last game. It took them you know, nearly 15 years to copy Live for Speed, which is amazing. Up on the curb. Oh, gotta be careful up there. I have rolled in practice. I don't want to roll again. Right, come on, we're gonna pop draft him. You mean, mate? I can almost reach out and just give me a little cheeky tickle, a little cheeky tickle on the boot lid there. Oh, the bump draft ain't going too well. <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> it's not like the time I bump drafted with Steve, mate. It didn't quite go well, but we're good. Up in the P5. Oh, put it on my lap, Christ! I need to get on with it. And it runs really well as well, of course, because it's uh, from the uh, the Dark Ages. Uh, slow down, nice there. That was a good move. We're gonna just drive him out to the outside. He gives up, nice. So, leader up ahead. We've only got about a lap in a couple of corners left. Come, mate, you and me. This is for the uh, last spot on the podium. Last lap in 39.6. Fast lap of the race. Big moves, big moves. Big moves, second gear. Oh. Pump the way out. Can we do this flat? Oh, just about. We just have to launch it into the rear brake traction. Come on! Look at the, look at the overspeed we've got. Double draft as well. I'm going to go for the dive. I've got to go for the dive. I'm going to catch the leader. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> that was about as deep as I could go on the brakes. was a bit deeper as well. Come on, to the inside. Nice, just backing it in front wheel drive style. Oh, they're just so slow through there. I'm going to take it. Come up the hill. Dive back. A bit of a shorter line there on the outside. Oh, he outbreaks me there a bit. Goes deep into the corner though. Come on, get the run. I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to go to the left. Absolutely. Mud, mate. As I nearly crash into myself. There you go. Five laps of Blackwood, mate. In live for speed. Ooh. You know what? When I started this up today, I half expected this just to be jank. And there it is. The rapturous applause. Thank you. I needed that. It's been a hard couple of days. Honestly, when I started this up, I, I expected it to be a bit janky. Like, getting old games working on new equipment, anyone will tell you who's done sim racing, is just awful. This was easy for the most part. I ran into a couple of little issues, but once they're solved, having an awesome time. What, what a fun and still pretty decent sim this still is. And as I said, this is a demo version, so I'll link you to this down below in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. It's completely free. There's no obligation to buy anything. I think you'll have a good time. I reckon you will. But guys, I hope you very much enjoyed this. I really enjoy getting back to try and out leave, uh, live for speed if you did hit the like button subscribe do all the good stuff we're aiming for the big 800k it's gonna take a little while but i've got to aim for something and i've as always i've got to say a massive thank you to my patrons and to my sponsors thank you all for sticking with me i know i've not been around for a little bit recently and i've been the uh, streams have been a bit sparse i've been busy in germany quite a lot in fact this video will come out when i'm in germany i think but it's much appreciated you guys hanging around and still supporting the channel thank you so much anyway take care have an awesome day i'll go part of the pit lane I'll see you all next time.